Hey guys, it's Beetlemaniac67 here, um, and today I'm comparing the two Legos Yellow Submarine sets, uh, the 2007 one and the 2016 or whatever one, I don't know, I don't give track of this stuff, uh, so anyway, um, first we're going to look at the boxes, so, uh, hold on. Uh, okay, so, so, um, let's look at the 2007 box first, as you can see, uh, it has 583 pieces, and the newer one has 553 pieces, and that means that the older one has more pieces than the new one, but newer one, but it's but it has more pieces than the newer one, the older one, but it's like ten dollars cheaper, I think. Uh, and I know some of you are saying almost a decade has passed since the release, so it's probably inflation, but um, you're wrong. It's it, inflation is a bunch of lies made up by the government. Uh, so, yeah, the government wants you to think it's inflation, but really it's just corporate greed, like most things in the world today. One day I think the entire world will be owned by a big corporation, and we'll all be slaves to the Illuminati, uh, but anyway, so as you can see, the, the boxes dra are drastically different of these two Legos sets. Uh, pretty cool. We'll of course get into all the components later. So yeah. So first let's look at the older, er, no actually first let's look at the newer one. It's uh, about what you would expect. We've got John, Paul, George, Ringo, uh, Jeremy with with an, a green apple, and then the yellow submarine is about what you would expect. This comes off, which I mean, I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. And also, I think it's just flimsy how. That go comes off too. Like this shouldn't come off. I don't know why they would even have a compartment back there. It's just kind of stupid. Like most things, like Legos doing these days, Lego has really gone downhill. Legos have really, really gone downhill. The Legos brand is just really bad in a lot of ways. Uh, and as you can see, you can take it off of the stand. And I think it's kind of stupid how they have the, this clear stuff to make it seem like the, the submarine is floating because uh, you can obviously see the clear stuff. So as I said, that's just another example of Legos really going downhill. It's very kind of decadent. Uh, figures themselves are okay. As you can see, I, I don't like the fact that Paul has a sign that says love, because I think that's uh, a reference to, to hippies, and I'm pretty sure that uh, that would inspire people to take drugs, so yeah. There's some uh, double-sided faces, as you can clearly see. There, there's that one. Uh, there's... Oh, this is another example of Legos going downhill. Back in back in the day, things wouldn't just fall out of their hands, the, of the minifigures. Uh, and then, here's Ringo's uh, record that he has. Because the Beatles, not back when they were there, actually, records were still a thing. So, yeah. it's So, over here is the... Older the 2007 Megos Yellow Submarine, which I think is vastly superior. Uh, so first, let's look at the minifigures. Uh, so here we've got John. He's pretty cool. Uh, and then this is Ringo, and I think Ringo is. Uh, I don't know. There's just something about this that 
really evokes the spirit of Ringo, like his hat and everything. Uh, and I'll, as I'll show you later, uh, see on this, he even gets drumsticks. Uh, if you if you take these off and then do this uh, like that, there's his drum. And then if you hold on a second while I put these in his hands off camera. Uh, oh no! Hold on. I'm almost there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, th this is, you know, uh, okay, so here is Ringo's drum in his drumstick, so he can play the drums, which is really cool. I'm a big fan of that little feature. That's why it's a lot better than the garbage newer set. Uh, see, there we go. More pieces fell off. This is an example of Lego being cheaper and the government covering for it by saying inflation and, and all that stupid stuff. But obviously, uh, back, getting back on what, what I was talking about, um, here's Paul because, as we all know, Paul died in a car crash in 1967 or whatever, and like, uh, or maybe 66, I can't remember, I think 66, yeah. Uh, so, so Paul is dead here. Really great attention to accuracy, because since Paul was dead when Yellow Submarine came out, they're making him dead in the set. And he has this, uh, it's pretty cool. It's his, uh, bass guitar for when he plays bass. Here, see, you can Hold on. It doesn't really work, but it's supposed to be his guitar for when he plays bass. So yeah, Paul is probably my favorite of any of these figures. And uh, George isn't here because no one cares about George. He's he's just boring. Cause like Pa's dead. Uh, John is like really edgy, like me. And uh, Ringo is just really fun. But but no one cares cares about George. And then we've got this little barrel, which is here because uh, um. The Beatles made a lot of money, so like this is where they store their money. R really nice attention to detail. And then possibly my favorite component of the set, besides the yellow submarine itself. Uh, here we've got Jeremy, and keep in mind this is, of course, here's Jeremy in the newer set. But here, but back in the day, they didn't really have, they couldn't really make a special figure for every creature that wasn't just a regular person, so they had to make. It's brick built, and I think it's really amazing how accurate they got it to Jeremy in the actual movie, um, considering it had to be all brick built. So yeah, just really great job by the whoever designed this. This is just really evokes, I think, the the spirit of Jeremy. Great, great figure. So yeah, one of the better eras of Regos, unlike now. And then we've got the yellow submarine itself, and man, this is probably the best version they've made to date out of both of the versions. Sure, it's not as accurate to the movie, but that's just so the fans can pick up on it. The fact that it's not as accurate and pick up on all the inaccuracies and sort of talk about all of that, which I think is a great bit of fan service. Fans can really enjoy that. Uh, so, this, this, uh, comes out of the front. I think this is the compartment that, like, in one scene of the movie, a bunch of horses come out of or something. Whoops. Come out of or something. Uh, so, yeah. Of course, they add some weapons so all the kids can play. Uh, you know, because back in those days, Lego wasn't a stupid liberal company who advocated for gun control, unlike now. Now that goes is much worse. And now that goes wants to ban all guns from everywhere. So uh, back then, though, that goes was really good with that, and they would always have guns, which I really miss. I think guns are like, I mean, 
for boys, like, boys need violence, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah. It's the stupid new Legos, uh, stuff that keeps breaking on me. Here, uh, let me try and fix this. Okay, so as you can see, there's the inside, and this has a lot more room. So, yeah, as you can see back then, 2007 Legos are much better. Uh, hold on. Back when things wouldn't break. Like, these days everything has to break always, but back then things never broke. Legos were good back then. So yeah, I th oh yeah, and then there's the engine in there, which is cool. So, hold on, I've got to put all this stuff on again, whoops. Uh, yeah, hold on a second. And just put the camera down while I uh, fix everything. So there you have it, both versions of the Legos, Yellow Submarine, as you can tell I'm a much bigger fan of the old one before we lived in these uh, stupid SJW times, because back then they actually knew how to make good sets and now this is, see it broke on me again, this is garbage. The old Legos were so much better, and nowadays, Legos is just a joke. The Legos brand should be ashamed of themselves, and I really don't know why I can... I bought this from Legos, because Legos is stupid. Uh, so, yeah, I, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Because I certainly did enjoy making it, because, uh... Any chance to expose Legos as the horrible company that it is, that they, they, uh, you, you know what I mean? So, basically, we want, we want more figures, like, we want Jeremy to look like this, not like, not like this. This is a joke. This is a joke. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed my chat about why that goes is bad now and I hope you enjoyed my yellow submarine comparison and I hope you enjoyed and like you'll subscribe and give me money and uh, buy my merchandise and support me on my Patreon uh, yeah I can't stress that enough please give me a bunch of money on my Patreon because uh, I I want to make a living out of making these these great quality videos that everyone wants, and uh, yeah, Patreon is the way to go, so links to all that in the uh, down below. So, uh, I hope you enjoy this video, and it's, uh, ugh, stupid new Lego 